Boob. Kick. Let's get to it. So, are women the prize? Let's loop this for us. All right. Are women the prize? <laughs> no. I'm just gonna give it to you straight up. Because in the way that we think women are the prize, it's not the way I think women are the prize. Women are a blessing to have, obviously. But here's what's going on. Too much now we're seeing men fall to a pretty face. Too many men have now fallen to the thing, the, the thing that we all talk about. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my thing pulled up here so we can do a little bit uh more uh, thing here, but I'm gonna keep talking. Too much we're seeing men now fall victim to a pretty face and a big booty. That's not the prize, fellas. That ain't the prize. Okay? That ain't the prize. Okay? If you want to say you have somebody who's a companion who can always be with you and be your friend and be with you to the thick and thin, you got me. But this whole thing, and this is what I'm so sick of hearing, because I even heard this from Swoozy back in the day, and it drives me nuts. Because Swoozy, I love Swoozy. No knock on Swoozy, but he has gotten caught up in this whole females or just the everything. And maybe he's not like that in real life. But the way he teaches us young men is that women have all the power, and they don't. They don't. Okay? They, <laughs> we're supposed to be the one leading. We're supposed to, we're the ones who are supposed to be controlling things as men. I don't mean like controlling, like, take care of I, I don't mean controlling, like, we run everything, like, you do what we say. But it shouldn't be to the point where now we, we should be giving up everything we do. We shouldn't be going to work and paying money to women we don't even know. <laughs> what are we doing? Listen, I get it. I get when you see a pretty a pretty face, a nice body, I completely understand. But at the same time, what I don't understand is why men defend this. Here's the two parts of the story that I'd be seeing now. I see men who are like hate women, right? Men who are just like, yeah, you gotta stay away from them living life on easy mode. And then you got the other type of men who would defend these kind of women. And be like, well, they they're, they're getting uh they're getting money, they're getting this, they're getting that. It's like, what are we talking about, dude? A big booty and some cooch cooch. I'm sorry, it's just not special. It's really not. I'm telling you guys because we have got, taken this whole thing of a woman being beautiful and we've taken it to a place of getting to the that kitty cat. Y'all think that's special? I'm sorry to tell you, it's not. At the end of the day, I don't care how beautiful she is. That that area is the same. <laughs> All of them. Some may look better than others, but it's in your head. There is an open wild world of sex selling and an open wild world of the hub. So if 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 the cooch was so good for just one girl, if one girl had the best body ever, why would why would the hub be so big now? Why is it so huge? Right? Why do more men and more women want to keep seeing more and more and more and more? Well, we're going to talk for men for now. Why do more men want to see more, more, and more? Well, the reason for that is because it's a fantasy. They think it's that true. They really think it's a prize. And you know what's so stupid is when we get women, you treat them like a queen, and you treat them high, and you give them all this money, and you do all these things to follow them. And then by the time you uh, finally figure it all out, you're pissed off that you spent all this money, blah, 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 blah. And then you're pissed off at the women. Look, there, there has to be some kind of balance. You can like a girl and be with a girl, but don't get mesmerized by her beauty. That's how men fall. That's how men fall. And we get gaslighted as men because anytime we do try to stand up for this and be like, hey, guys, stop spending your money on women. Then you know what women are going to say? Shame, insult, guilt need to be right. What the first thing they're going to start saying to you, you're not here this more than time. We don't have time to, uh, what is it? We don't have time to massage your male egos. We don't have time to coddle you. Anytime a man comes out and speaks up for himself, you've been seeing this thing a lot with the gym creeps, right? Men are starting to say, hey, look, that ain't really what's going on. Now, some women are coming up. But you got some of these women who are just trying to be like, well, we don't want to coddle men's egos, man. Fluff that. Coddle. What, what is going on in society that we are really having women run us like we're children? I, we're not children. <laughs> you know, it's crazy because men are really having to fight for our rights now. We're, and you know what men are really trying to do? I'm being honest with you. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Men are trying to keep it somewhat equal. 
without being rude. That's really what's going down. Because what's really has been happening is men are getting tired, dude. We're getting worn out. Like we we try to do this whole okay, let's be equal, let's be equality. So we're making videos on YouTube. We're trying to be the nice thing about it. But in the end of the day, like even me person, it's kinda like I'm kinda tired of who guy got tired of you saying something about us male egos and all that. Cause if we I mean we need to respect other people as human beings. But there's also this concept of if, you know, if we really wanted to turn things back back to the way they were, which everybody says it was the worst, it wasn't. But if we wouldn't want to go back to men run everything, then we just say, well, pipe down. We could do that. But that's not right. So we're trying to be normal and try to do these things, but it's gone overboard. It's gone way overboard. And I blame it partially on the men for allowing this to happen. Have allowing this to happen, okay? Getting to this point, uh, man, I'm every because because there's so much. Look at the video you're seeing over here. There's so many beautiful women out there that we didn't really know existed back then. Here's here's a good thing that I heard before. You know, when we were growing up and we didn't have the internet and all that kind of stuff, you weren't you weren't as mesmerized by women on the internet because you might see a pretty girl but it'd be every now and then now there's so many of them when you hop on a tiktok or something like this and just hit up a comp a compilation of hot just type in hot girls tiktok and you get something like this it's like it's so it's so this isn't a word but i'm gonna say fantastical meaning it's such a fantasy it's hard to want to leave it because when you go out here in the real world what do you really see <laughs> Well, you really see, you see married women, you see women with kids, you see women who are run down, including, you know, you see normal looking women out here. So you'd rather be on the internet and just pretend when these girls are going, Hey, I know you like my body. You know, you like me body. You know, you like my body. She does a little twerk for you. And then <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Got <he. laughs> Yeah, that's what is happening. You just fall for it, man. These women are looking for validation, okay? I have never seen so many women and little girls in my life. I work with, you know, I work with children. I've seen these young women who make these kind of videos up and just whatever you do, little TikTok dances. I've never seen so many people want validation in my life. And this is coming from a man who's been making videos on YouTube. I've been making videos all my life. I live stream dang near every day for two or three hours. I play a video game for two or three hours. I've been putting my face on the internet since I was a young boy. But I never did it for validation. I don't really care, like, as far as what you guys think about me. Like, I never do. Like, I never. The, sh oh. the short form videos is what's so crazy. If you can just be pretty and just throw up a 10 second video a six second video however long tiktoks are a tiktok 30 seconds you can put up a 30 second video and just be pretty and people can just fantasize for just a, for just 10 seconds of you and you can get a hundred a hundred thousand likes that's what's so different even when we did first have youtube and all this stuff it was long form videos so even if you were a pretty face you still have to have something and now what we see as far as long, long form videos of women who are super attractive and to be fair, there are women who are attractive who don't put this kind of content out there, but we have to go with the ones we see the most of. There's some women who are so attractive, they know that they, they want to go that route. And so you go watch a video of them, and what do they, what do they show you? Try-on hauls. Try-on hauls lead to OnlyFans. I can't tell you how many try-on videos. Remember, we, we, we used to go through those all the time on the stream. We can't, I can't tell you how many times we went to try-on hauls. Click, there's the link tree, and everybody knows. We all know what a link tree means. Except for my link tree. My link tree doesn't lead to that. But their link trees. Only fans. Exclusive. Just for you. Daddy. Uh, pay my bills. Buy me coffee. Support me. Why? I said why? Because I'm pretty. Why? I mean, just look at me. Why? I will tell this story once again. I was walking one day. I was walking down my job. I worked at a call center and I'm walking. I'm walking in the parking lot. 
And the girl told me to give her five dollars. I know. I remember her face. I remember she was a light skin, black hair, short. She looked okay. She wasn't the best looking, but she had a nice looking figure. And what she said to me was, "Give me five dollars." I believe that's what it was, something like that. And I said, "Why?" And she said, "Because I'm me." <laughs> I did that same thing in real life. I laughed. And think about this. this is, I'm a fat, short guy. I'm a fat, plump individual. Okay. Hey, losing weight, but fat, plump. Okay. And even I was thinking, like, are you serious? Like, that's all it takes? She belongs to the streets. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Guys, 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 guys. Women can be the prize but the booty is not a prize the 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 middle spot is not a prize the coconuts they're not a prize the face is not a prize a woman is a prize when you are cherishing her as a human being not for just her legs but her whole being that you want to give up your life for not one of these rock sands out here You don't want to get a rock sand. These are rock sands. All she want to do is party all night. And I don't mean literally. I mean, this is who she is. She knows she's pretty. Like, look at what we're seeing. Like, in these filters to make these women feel so pretty. Give it up. Women are the prize when they're treated like human beings. But the body and all that stuff, don't give it up for that, guys. All right. Let's move on to our next topic.